morning and welcome back to my channel. Now I've pulled out a lot of the presents that I have been squirreling away over the course of 2020. And this is the part where I go, I have 10 kids. Yep. Yep, I do. So I've got a bunch of kids. I don't like clutter. I don't like the feeling that if I buy something, I may declutter it later. I know things ebb and flow, but I try now when I get things to think with the mentality of, will I be wanting to declutter this within X amount of time? That usually helps me not go and purchase things if I go, yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that. So for now, I've pulled everything out, but I don't have any kids around and I have to buy for a one-year-old, a two-year-old, a four-year-old, a nearly six-year-old, a seven-year-old, a nine-year-old, an 11-year-old, a 12-year-old, a 14-year-old, and a 15-year-old, plus my wonderful husband, who is older than 15. So there's lots of different people to buy for and it's frankly, I think it's far easier to buy for younger children because they're easily pleased and they don't have any concept of what, you know, like my older son told me he wanted a computer programming book. So one, how is this child my child? And two, where do I get a computer programming book from? So that's on my to be researched list. Um, the younger kids just tell you more, just get me whatever. So I'm going to divide everything up into the piles that I know belongs to the people. And then I'll start seeing my gaps of who needs more or different or who knows. Okay, so I've divided up my piles and it makes it really clear who doesn't really have anything. So what I do with the kids is I tend to try to ask them the types of things that they're interested in getting and I observe them as well. And I'm looking for different bargains and specials and someone may be passing something along and it'll be perfect for my child. So there's lots of things I'm taking into consideration and overarching that is my desire to not just fill up the house for the sake of filling up the house. So there's a balance. I mean, for us, Christmas isn't all just about all the stuff you can get. Our personal traditions that we have is on Christmas Eve. Traditionally, we have watched Carols by Candlelight on television and then we get a, a whole heap of glow sticks and turn the lights off and each person in the family has a Christmas box. Now, you go back five to 10 years ago, the Christmas boxes were loaded to the brim with lollies and candy. Each child had like 50 glow sticks. There was an outfit for Christmas day. There were pajamas. There was Lego toys, all sorts of things. And there wasn't any kind of budget that we followed so we've pulled way back because it was just too much and our kids don't have lollies all the time so on Christmas Eve to give them 50 billion candies in a darkened room sometimes resulted in children feeling poorly which then makes the parents feel poorly yeah so one of my children, it looks like he has tons of stuff. All he's asked for is books. So, um, yeah, I'm not really into this whole, we have to be exactly fair. Like I have to be down to the letter, either this exact same amount of gifts 
or the exact same cost for the gifts because you might have one small thing that costs a hundred dollars and then 15 little things that add up to fifteen dollars so I don't know that's just my experience so I've got lollies here that I've bought to go in the Christmas boxes I need to still buy the glow sticks um, I only have a few things for my 14 year old daughter so she did tell me last night some things she was interested in this child is nearly 13 so I've got Christmas to buy for her and I have her birthday um, the beginning of January so wheels are really turning with what to give her this is my 11 year old son um, he told me he has no idea he can't think of anything he wants maybe just give him cash my little baby so far he just has pajamas he just turned one so this is my two-year-old she will be stoked with this and a couple of t-shirts coloring book and one of those little wooden like let's be a chef thing which will go in the cubby house with her play kitchen and then I have my just turned four year old daughter. She, her main thing is gonna be this puzzle. And then she's got a couple of coloring books, a book, a bathing suit, which one of my children used to call a bacon soups. Um, and one of these scented pencil things. Then I have my going to turn six, year old daughter see she turned six a week before Christmas so it's the mix of getting the birthday stuff and then she really loves these ruby red shoes books so I got her some more ruby red shoes books she has a bathing suit jammies shorts and a t-shirt gel pens simple my soon-to-be eight-year-old daughter she turns eight on New Year's Eve so I've got to buy Christmas stuff for her and birthday stuff she just asked for gel pens drawing books and chapter books so I'm kind of trying to work out what chapter book to get her or chapter books and then I've got a few little Lego small little Lego things for her the 15 year old son He's going to be difficult. He's not difficult, but it's going to be difficult to buy for him. And then my lovely husband, who I love very much, I'll have to, um, I was going to say interrogate, I'll have to ask him what he may want. So we do a small amount of gifts, try to find something that they'll find fun, and each child is different. Some child, some children, Will find it fun to get a coloring book some children will find it fun to get water balloons some children might find it fun to get a computer game so you're squeezing the old walnut you're squeezing out the information to try to work out what they want so yeah this is kind of i guess we'll call this my midway video that's all i got to show you this morning I do hope that you've been watching my other videos and enjoying them and finding things that interest you or you might think of somebody who the video might interest and I'm just being me um, and trying to share it with you guys. So if you haven't subscribed, please subscribe because I am doing Vlogmas this year. So until tomorrow, do take care. Let me know how you're going with your Christmas shopping and how it works for you. I'd be interested to hear. I'm always open to suggestions and until next time, take care. Bye.